Hello, what are we doing this stream? I have no idea, honestly. I just kind of want to do a lot of events currently. There's a lot of events going on right now. There's so much stuff. Like, I've been doing a lot of shit off stream. There's so much events. Look at this. Today, I have nothing specific planned, but I definitely want to roll for Dark Heroes. Uh-huh, we got one more rare ticket. I should have roll the rare ticket on epic fest honestly wait can i go back in time and roll on epic fest i think i can right yeah okay give me a second just uh, we're we're gonna do a little bit of magic magic trick there we are wow we go back in time it's uber fest now insane actually it's it's always been uber fest it's never been dark heroes where did that come from i know right Ooh, shit um Oh, I can use this! I can definitely use this! This could actually be a key unit in our team. She's an anti-metal too. And she's an anti-angel. That's actually pretty good! Uh, hey, finally! Finally, one of our missing super rares. Figure skating. Alright, now let's get back to loading real quick. We're gonna sleep for a little bit. Oh, I'm finally awake. Holy shit, it's been like six hours? What's been happening right now? What's going on right now? What's going on? It's been six hours. Holy shit, it's Dark Heroes guaranteed! Insane, let's roll this. Oh my god. Uh, Apple Cat? Whoa, this isn't even guaranteed. People consider him shit, right? Just to be clear, I haven't actually seen much of this guy. I know he has, like, terrible health. I don't really remember him being... Cons I I'm pretty sure people usually consider him as bad, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, in that case, then I'll... Welcome to the team, then. On Myoji? Bishop? Oh, this is also a good one for us, because he's also not really a high tier. He is kind of popular because of the combo, but people don't really usually consider him a pretty good unit in general. So, welcome to the team. We got the research combo guy. Let's go. Double 100% Uber, do it cheapskate. Uh... You know what? We still haven't gotten Sadako, and I really want Sadako so that I, so that I can do a uh, perfect cyclone. So we, it would definitely be beneficial to roll again, I think. Let's go! Hey! Maka hmm? Makako is... Uh... I don't think it's that popular, right? I know her true form is super super good versus aliens, but I don't think many people talk about her that much. So, I guess I'll use her? Unfortunately, we still didn't get Sadako! <laughs> oh man, unfortunate. I got Luffy from Fest, that's nice. Luffy is also pretty damn good. I would honestly, there, you know there's a lot of people that uh, debates for Luffy and Shishilan. You know what? You know what? It's poll time. <laughs> this, is, this has been like the, considered to be the main best two uh, Lucas, right? Shishi and Lufalon. They're always been like contested with each other. I actually also consider Luffy to be better. I don't know, Shishilan I think is just too generic. <laughs> it's like he's really good at what he does, but what he does is also not really that special. He's a good wave immune generalist. Th that's about it. It's like once you get a good generalist, you might not even need to use Shishi at all, really. Meanwhile, Luffy actually, he actually can like destroy certain stages that specifically not that much other generalists can do. And his range definitely helps too. So I would also, I would definitely consider Luffy to be a little bit more precious. Even if like his survivability is absolute garbage and he still have like a shit ton long cooldown and all that jazz, it still gives him the uniqueness, you know? Claim your user rank rewards, right, right, right. What even is my user rank reward? I have a bad habit of just never claiming my user rank reward. I don't, um, I'm not really sure why. No, I, I know actually. Yeah, I guess it's also because of old habits of, you know how back then before leadership was a thing, uh, user rank, instead of giving you leadership, it only fills your energy to the max, which means that if your energy is... Uh, which means that you pretty much always only want to claim your user rank whenever you're out of energy. So that that definitely also comes into play into why I don't claim my user rank rewards as much. Oh, uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do again today? <laughs> I guess we can do a little bit of traitless Citadel while we talk a little bit. 
Hey, it's the bears. You see the cadaver bear from Variety Bear, right? That guy is dummy thick for some reason. I don't know why they made Variety Bear's uh, zombie one super like thick for some reason. <laughs> Look at that thick ass boy. He's so he's so fat. I don't know why. <laughs> He got the whole cake, dude. Damn, boy. Yeah, he kind of thick. Yeah, it might be it might be because of Dabu, but I don't know. Wait, actually, what's in this stage? Is this the stage of like Aros or some shit? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I will check what stage this is, but I think this stage is called Inquire Clippy. <laughs> Comes a second form named Kai. Wait, really? Really? Hold on. Black Knight Kyclops. What? Is this a real word? Oh, right. By the way, this music. Does anyone actually know where this music comes from? Does anyone actually know what this game is? Retry. Does this sound familiar to anyone at all? Never heard of Retry? Was it some Flash game? No, it's not actually. It reminds me of Sonic. Ah, uh, well, maybe. It does actually, but it also doesn't. Okay, so maybe, maybe if I give you a refresher, maybe some of you will know. Retry is a game by Rovio. The one who baits Angry Birds. Does that sound familiar now? I looked up this game on Play Store and it's been deleted. It's gone. It's not in Play Store anymore. That's unfortunate. That's the- yeah, that's that game! The memory starts flooding back. <laughs> they nuke all the good games. Yeah, I remember having real fun with this game. I don't know why they removed it. Angry Birds Epic gone. Is it really? Really? Angry Birds Epic is gone? Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. They removed the main Angry Birds game? What the fuck? Why? I remember people saying Angry Birds Epic was actually like pretty damn good. At least Bad Piggies is okay. Wait, okay, so uh, yeah, okay. If Bad Piggies are still on Play Store, everything is fine. Because <laughs> Bad Piggies are pretty damn good. Has your progress with 3 and 4 star UL? Uh, I do not touch anything past 1 star UL. <laughs> do you think I play like start UL? Oh hell no. <laughs> I actually just completely ignore start UL. Rovio removed most of their old games to promote their new games more. Oh, I I guess I can kind of see that, but that's such a shitty move. What the fuck? Why is Crazy Cat in first form? Because he's like level one. <laughs> Why does Hoopa use first form Craze? That's such a gold common. I love that common still. Why aren't you using OP Ubers? Because using not OP Ubers are fun. And it's it's a little bit more unique compared to a lot of other playthroughs. Because like everywhere you see every other YouTuber, they always only bring broken Ubers. And it's like, I'm, I'm not saying it's like it's their fault. They should have brought like it, easier Ubers or whatever. It's like, no, let them have their fun. But I would try to, I want to try to spice things up. That's mainly it. I just want to spice things up a little bit. Introduce a little bit of the weaker Ubers, I guess. Because I usually don't use Ubers in general. I don't need the broken Ubers to go through the game. I just need a somewhat half decent one that I'm, I think, I think I'm able to go through just fine, really. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to do Evil Cat Awakens. And then from the clear, I'll roll. Here we go, victory! We have the true form now, but I still don't have the unit actually. And now, let's roll one more. Uh, but is it a good idea? I feel like I'm gonna get a dupe. Eh, I guess if I get a dupe, it's NP. Hey, Finally, we got Hacker! Oh man, now that we got Hacker, I'm actually considering this as another true form that we could've get. This would definitely be a amazing cruel form to get. Bodhisattva again, Psycho Cat, and Makako. Alright, fine, that's fair, that's fair. But it will be 50 MP and it will go for a good cause. Uh, welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm just gonna try to get straight to the point and go do Manic Eraser. If we get Manic Eraser, we end the stream. <laughs> that, that's pretty much more or less the plan here. And if you are here from my YouTube community post, I said that I will be able to do Manic Eraser possibly because of a secret weapon. And, well, we did do several rolls yesterday. We got a couple of dark heroes and uh, that one. <laughs> uh, so that I was able to grind a little bit of XP, 
so that I am also able to upgrade something that we just got yesterday. And what was it aside from the Ubers that we got yesterday? That's right. Hacker. <laughs> and we just so happen to have the fruits for it. So, yeah. This is the secret weapon. <laughs> With the power of Cyberpunk and Ururun. I think Manic Eraser is very much in reach, so... Welcome to our third uh, cat fruit true form, I believe this is our third gacha true form. Cyberpunk, let's go. Unfortunately, we don't have Manic Mohawk, but who cares, right? <laughs> it's fine, right? We don't need Manic, uh, Manic Mohawk for this. Can't believe we're actually getting fucking... Po well, possibly getting Manix before Into the Future 3. <laughs> Kinda wild. Earlier I was browsing a little bit more music that I could potentially put in, and I was thinking maybe I should put Celeste music in, considering I, that's also a game that I've played and I've also streamed on the channel. That would be a nice adi- I forgot how fucking strong these Gories are, Jesus Christ. God, I forgot there's Cappies here. Maybe we should start stacking Ubers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should have brought out Ururun instead. I should have brought out Ururun. I should have taken out Ururun. Fuck. Are we gonna dragons? So they just brought Grace Dragon instead. I wonder if that'll work out. I didn't farm Lucky Tickets, so... I know Lucky Tickets is on, but... I just farmed them once in a while, and even then... Da, 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 da. Oh wait! Why did I leave one... empty? Okay, it's too late. You know what? It's it's for the CPU. It's for the CPU. Got two Makako and two Kyclops too. That's pretty neat. Is Cyclops a Dark Hero the one with the mace? Yep, uh, it's the new one. Did Kyclops just fucking die? What the... I... Okay, yeah, sure, I guess. We got money, maybe I should have brought Dragon after all. You, Ururun, you need to survive at least until the Gori Wave, because the Gori Wave is where we really need you. Kyclops is really fast. Oh my gosh, Kyclops dies in one shot. As long as we have Ururun in the field, uh, when the Gori Blacks are around, we should be fine. Kyclops is really speedy too, that's also another thing. Hey, he's dead, alright, I... I that's it, I guess. <laughs> kind of anticlimactic. I guess the secret weapon is just that good. <laughs> My god. Okay, yeah, alright. Cyberpunk is uh, something alright. Oh, <laughs> uh, didn't even need the 10th slot. Yeah, it's it's all calculated anyways. We didn't even we didn't even lack money at all. <laughs> we could have brought a five meat shield. I think that would have been fine. We could have brought like dragon or sexy legs or can can, and that still would have been fine. There we go. We got manic eraser before we even finish into the future tree. Let's go. <laughs> Kyclops, you you did your best. You kind of just came in, do like maximum two attacks and then die. <laughs> but you, you did your best. You you were there for the spirit. Here we are. Our reward. <laughs> We still haven't got an Awakened Bahamut, and here he is, Manic Eraser. Uh, <laughs> how long has the stream been going? It's been it's been going for 30 minutes. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a couple of Awakens. We got Kung Fu Awakens. You guys, you guys want to do Kung Fu Awakens? <laughs> oh no, we're pushing too much. Manic Eraser is too strong. Oh fuck, Manic Eraser. No, please. <laughs> I can't believe we just got Manic Eraser and then Ma now Manic Eraser turns against us and is now killing us instead. Hey guys, fun fact, did you guys know that Dancer was actually nerfed once? The enemy Dancer Cat used to not attack this Sloan and then at one point they realized, hold on, this fucker is way too strong and then they actually add a TBA for this guy. I think like if you look up like Wufa's video on Path of Kung Fu at that time, you can see Dancer actually attacks non-stop, like it doesn't have a TBA at all. So Dancer became Awakened Bahamut? Yeah, pretty much. Dancer became like a 435 range Awakened Bahamut. That's why it was pretty fucking scary. Funny thing is it was only rated hard plus at the time. Dude, that also another thing that is also like deceptively hard is Hyper Mister. Mysterious Evolution. Like if you don't have the right Ubers and the right rares for it, it's still considerably 
pretty tough compared to other special cat awakens. Mysterious Evolution is no joke. That thing is like manically manic lion here. Ninja is a funny stage. Uh, the ninja awakens. It's literally just here's a ninja, here's the strongest doge. Have fun. <laughs> and gives you like no money. <laughs> For a sub relatively early game stage, it's pretty tough, especially without having no cash at all. Oh, speaking of no cash at all, earlier yesterday I was thinking like, oh man, some of my uh, blue orb upgrades on my money wasn't really upgraded to the max. And then earlier I kind of just upgraded uh, some to the max. And then I realized something. We still have plus seven research. Fuck this shit. Why? Please. Ironically, do also the one of the lowest pluses we have is also wall cap, which is also plus seven. Why? <laughs> Fuck this. This sucks. This sucks. Yeah, we got Manic Eraser before actual Eraser. That's so fucked up. And we still don't have Awakened Bahama too. <laughs> there were stories of people going to UL and having like plus seven Titan <laughs> or, or like plus 8 wall and they go it's like how do I stall Redic Bun Bun and it's like oh you use Eraser it's like I don't have Eraser <laughs> oh okay so there's one Cory on timer there's one Cory on base hit okay whatever let's just try to go with this for now and see what happens I guess how long is this Cory wait the Cory comes out after 400 seconds oh fuck I should have brought speed up can I just say fuck it and then Try to kill both Corys anyways. 400 seconds is a while. Let's just go. Let's just go. Fuck this. Let's just go. Next time if I redo the stage, I'll bring speed up. And then we'll bring something to stall more properly. Oh my god. Kyclops died. Alright. And now Makako is dead. <laughs> Unfortunate. I was Ururu in the last one standing. Okay, well you're dead now. And we're holding out alright. Yeah. We're holding it all right. Well, I guess I'll stop spawning the super airs too. Ah, never mind. We need to spawn the super airs now. <laughs> board, board heard me talking shit. It's like, you stop spawning super airs? All right. No more can can? No more crazed whale? Let's go. <laughs> Once I do Into the Future tree, the first order of uh, things to do is absolutely give can can double money. Can can speed up is sort of like an optional thing, like it's super good, but you might not need it. At least on like, if you have like a specific stage in mind, you know, then you might be able to pass up on Ken Ken speed up a little bit and then go for other talents that may be like more urgent, quote unquote. There's the quarry. Good lord, that took forever. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I didn't wait. <laughs> That would have taken forever. Gory and Cory, this is not good. I mean, on one hand, the Gory makes the Cory miss, which is good, but if the Cory waves, that's a massive push. Uh, okay, the Gory's dead. All right, sweet. Makako's still living. All right, all right. Now we spawn Ururu. This is safe time. Talents is a little bit different than XP or uh, just normal levelings in general, where you don't always need max level to work. I mean, it's sort of similar to the case with XP, but the, the case with XP is simply that most things are balanced around level 30, you know. But in the case of talents, you can pretty much go halfway. Like, there's a lot of times where you can just go level 5, and you're good. Like, you don't, you don't need to go more. As long as it's, like, helpful enough to beat certain stages, you're good. You might not actually need to go all the way to 10. You might not even uh, have to go to level 6. I feel like this is one of the harder Awakened stage. I think this is the hardest Awakened stage, probably. This, this stage is pretty brutal. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm, like, killing him right now, but comparing him to other... Uh, Special Awakens? Absolutely, this is one of the hardest. I got 45 NP, should I get Ken Ken speed up or maybe cyber slow up? Okay, here's another thing that I'm going to say. Don't spend NP until you actually feel like you need it. If you don't have to, then why do you spend it? If you see in the future, oh, I want to do this stage, I want to do that stage, and I think this talent would help, and I think that talent would help, then that's that's when you upgrade. Like, right now, the main reason why I said, well, I want Ken Ken talent is so because there's a lot of stages where uh, Ken Ken's double up will actually really help. Especially for like the beginning of the stage, you want immediate money, you want to spawn uber immediately, you want to rush certain stages or you want to 
uh, farm certain stages faster. The double money is just all around good, and it's relatively cheap. You know, it's a one-time purchase of like 75, if I'm not mistaken. So it's worth. But then if there's if you have spare NP at all, and then you go, oh, what should I spend it on? You should probably ask yourself first, why should you spend it on anything in the first place? If you don't need it, you, you don't have to spend it. If you might need to urgently buy certain talents, like maybe there's a specific event that you realize you want to do, and upgrading certain talents would absolutely benefit you massively in like clearing that stage. Maybe it can let you like a very powerful unit and such like that. And then start dead. But yeah, in that case, then that's when you need to spend your NP. If you don't feel like you need to spend it, then you don't have to spend it. Like, sure, certain stuff may be like good uh, for overall usages, but for something like Can Can Speed Up, like for example, right? Can Can Speed Up is on a unit that is widely used. It's an pretty good stuff, it's going to be helpful in certain situations, but if you feel like your can, can is strong enough and then your can, can is already able to carry the stages that you want to go through, then why do you buy it? You don't need to buy it. Just leave it. Just leave it at that. At most, it, you're just going to feel like, ah, oh, cool, can, can is slightly faster. Okay, what does this actually change? What does this actually mean to you? Does it really worth spending all that NP? for that. What's your favorite general guide that you did on Battle Cats? Mm, maybe a ranged meat shield, because that one's really funny. <laughs> that one's like very obscure and very funny. It's one of those things where you might not realize it, but it actually matters in certain stages. Like if you bring dragon stacking to Manic Eraser, you can actually see certain times where your dragons tank the hit for you and it actually stops the pushing of Manic Eraser sometimes. It's one of those things where it, it just unconsciously happens, and it's really funny to, and to think about sometimes. <laughs> Will there be any more Shoot You Roll? Uh, yes, but I don't know when. The problem, is, the problem with just generic videos is that there's a lot of planning behind it, and there's just a lot of editing. Well, not editing. I, honestly, like, the editing part isn't too hard. It's mainly just the planning and just to feel like, uh, am I really like knowledgeable enough on this? Like I have to put up a research on it, I have to ask a little bit more here and there for it. For those kind of talk videos, I've been considering something, which is that maybe I can do it in a stream format instead. I could make like just a list of things that I want to talk about. And instead of making a full script out of it or something like that, I could instead just talk on stream and have chat feedback live. So therefore, in that case, I can get chat to maybe help a little bit on things that I could talk about more, or maybe things to even consider a little bit differently or something like that. Maybe I could ask chat for opinions on certain movers, stuff like that, stuff like that. And I think that could potentially like lower the workload that I need to do and also be able for me to cover up things that I might forget. Anyways, this is the end of the stream. Thank you for coming to the stream. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.